Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and I'm here with my buddy. Zach. Zach, and Zach and I are going to read this book. We both read about dinosaurs. By? By Cindy McKay, illustrated by Robert Wall. Sorry about that. That's okay. Okay, and he's going to read the grown-up part, and I'm going mm -hmm. to read the kid part, because he's such a good reader. He learned how to read in kindergarten, maybe even before kindergarten, some, huh? Could you read before kindergarten? Yeah. I thought so, because he's such a good reader. Okay, so go ahead. We both read about dinosaurs. Okay, so he's reading the grown-up part. I'm reading the kid part. Many years of years ago, animals we call dinosaurs lived all over the world. These dinosaurs are now extinct, but you can still see them in movies, books, even in museums. In Greek, the word dinosaur means terrible lizard. But in fact, dinosaurs were neither terrible nor lizards. Okay, and can you read that one? This is Acrocanthosaurus. And this is a gargoyle. Gargoyle? Gar yeah, Garliosaurus. And a? And a chameleon. A chameleon, okay. Lizards stand with their legs to the side of their bodies. Dinosaurs stood with their legs under their bodies. The scientists who studied dinosaurs are called paleontologists. By studying fossils, bones, paleontologists have identified over 300 different kinds of dinosaurs. But most believe that they may be at least twice that many dinosaurs that have not yet been discovered. Wow, and what kind is that? This is a Suchomimus, and a paleontologist with a duck-billed dinosaur jaw. Okay. Bones of this dinosaur were discovered just a few years ago. Scientists believe that it lived 110 million years ago, but we're gonna just go on the record to say that we don't believe that they were that old. We believe that God created them and that God, it wasn't 100 million years ago. But that's okay, because scientists, that's what some scientists believe. Other scientists don't believe that. But we're reading this book, so let's go. Ready? Paleontologists agree that dinosaurs were reptiles. They lived on land, bared, breathed, breathed air, and did not fly like modern birds. Dinosaurs hatch from eggs. The largest dinosaur egg that has been found was about the size of a football. That's a lot bigger than a chicken egg. Wow. The size of a football. So, about the size, a little bigger than his head. <laughs> All right? Do you have a string on you? Some dinosaurs walked on two legs. Some walked on four legs. Some could do both. But, and this is Kit Orosaurus. Family, and this is a platosaurus. Okay. Your turn. Dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus Rex and Dromaeosaurus ate only most... Only meat. Only meat. They were carnivores. Most carnivores ate predators or predators. That means they hunt other animals called prey. Some... Kind of with scavengers that may they ate meat. They eat meat, and they did not kill them. So predators hunted their meat, mm -hmm. and scavengers ate meat that was already there. Wait a second, doggy. Hey, can you can you? Oh, are you going back out there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Puppies, puppies barking right now, but oh, I didn't read mine. Tarbosaurus. Oh, you were supposed to read those big words. Tarbosaurus and Therizinosaurus. And this is Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dromaeosaurus, Alamosaurus, and Striacosaurus. So, we're learning a lot about dinosaurs. Being a predator was not easy. You often had to fight sharp horns and long claws. If you were hurt and could not hunt, you would die. Stegosaurus was just one of the many dinosaurs that were herbivores. They ate only plants. 
from herbivores also swallowed rocks called gastroliths gastroliths to help grind up their fibers of those plants and in their guts. A few dinosaurs may have been omnivores. Being an omnivore means that you can eat both meat and plants. This kind of dinosaur might have eaten bugs, small animals, eggs, seeds, and leaves. What kind is that? A pachycephalosaurus. My goodness. And, and this is a stegosaurus and a shebratosaurus. My goodness. I can't read all those words. Okay, you ready? Some people think all about all dinosaurs were huge and many of them were, were. Brachiosaurus was taller than four-story building the neck of a sauropsiodon who was longer was longer than school bus but as huge as these animals were N no, none, non longer, or none, or as big as the blue whale that lives in our oceans today. I goofed. That's okay. This dinosaur was very small. It was about as big as a chicken. It could run very fast. It ate bugs and lizards. What kind is that? That this little. This one? is a Compton. Nathus, and this is a sauropsiodon. Oh my goodness, those are big words. Why couldn't they name them little words like chicken? Yeah. Okay, your turn. Despite, Despite their fierce, ferocious, ferocious reputation, most dinosaurs were herbivores that traveled in herds. They with with their family. Their family. Tracks indicate that you, the youngest members traveled in the middle. There may have been hundred of wait stop that was bad of the herd. You just you the just skipped a line, so let's just finish okay. that line. Members traveled in the middle of the herd for the most protection from predators. They may have been. Hundreds? hundreds, even thousands of members in one herd. Wow, that's and a big herd. Is, and this is Camarasaurus, uh -huh. dinosaur about sixty feet long, being pro, 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 pursued by Allosaurus. That's okay. Just rip that piece off and keep playing. Okay. What's this one? It's a plant-eating one. It's a Camptosaurus. Okay, so the Camptosaurus here. This plant-eating dinosaur would nip off plants with its sharp beak. Then it used its teeth to grind up the plants. Mes Mesolopodius. Mesospondylus. That's what it was called. In a pack of Meg. Ap Meganosaurus? Megapnosaurus. Megapnosaurus, okay. Herbivores were probably not the only dinosaurs that lived in groups. Some carnivores may have also gathered in packs. In this way, smaller predators could co cooperate in hunting large prey similar to modern day wolves. Okay, these two dinosaurs were much bigger than wolves, but some people think they may have hunted in packs too. And this is a Displatosaurus. Oh my. All right, here we go. Many plant eating dinosaurs have built in weapons. Had built in weapons that to protect them from meat eating Predators. Triceratops had three sharp horns and probably and probably charged into its enemy the way the same way a modern rhinoceros does. 
E some dinosaurs had bony plates on their bodies. Even big, sharp teeth may not have been able to bite through them. What's that? This is an ankylosaurus, and this is a trianosaurus rex and a triceratops fighting each other. Okay. Huge dinosaurs like Rebractosaurus, which could be up to 60 feet long. Don't worry too much about predators. But being big didn't always mean you were safe. Some predators did hunt the giant dinosaurs. A giant dinosaur was a lot to eat, even for a pack of hungry predators. Sorry about the dog. Wait, stop. Go. Whoops. This is a Rebrachosaurus and a Giganotosaurus. A Gigan... Notosaurus. Giganotosaurus. Oh, my goodness. A Rebrachosaurus is right here. And a Giganotosaurus is right there. Here. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Okay, here you go. This, no one knows for sure the color of any dinosaur, but by my fear bring out how dinosaurs, a dinosaur lived. Scientists can look at modern animals that lived in similar manner and make educated. Educated gusses. Mm -hmm. For example, a unprotected unprotected herbivores may have had skin coats that help the carnival help to, to camouflage, camouflage them. Itself. You know what camouflage is? Yeah. Okay. And this is an Altyrinus. And the cryptoterics is what she's going to read, in which this one dinosaur was poisonous. Was it? Was about the po pretty colors. Oh. Some dinosaurs were covered in feathers. These feathers were not used for flying. They probably helped to keep the animal warm. This is a mementos horse right here that I'm going to read. Paleontologists can... Can you play with the puppy for one more minute? How fast or, or slow a dinosaur moved by examining the footprints. Some dinosaurs left behind. It's not surprising to learn that the slowest dinosaurs were the huge herbivores, like Menmentiosaurus. I'm sorry about that. The dog... The puppy is just little. The puppy is whining about These the dinosaurs didn't need to be in a hurry. Besides having long necks and long tails, they had long lives. Some of them lived to be 80 years old. The fastest dinosaurs were probably the small carnivores, like this Ingenia. These dinosaurs ran on two legs and used their tail to help with balance. Too slow to could charge that direction quickly as they ran. If you sit on the floor, it might help. Just sit on the floor and pet him. There you go. Running fast was important to small dinosaurs. It helped them catch their prey, and it helped to keep them from becoming prey. They didn't want to this be. This is an uh, Ingenia, and this is an Ornitholetus being chased by an Allosaurus. Most of us know that humans were not around during the time of dinosaurs, but sometimes movies and books put other mammals and reptiles with the dinosaurs that were not there either. This mammoth, which is now extinct, was 60 million years after the dinosaurs. 60 many years 60 million years after that. This is a mammoth in the 60s. Wait. A mammoth 